Hi and welcome to my last PhD vlog. This week was the dissertation week. I defended my thesis, thesis Wednesday this week. So what happened? I only slept three hours to start with. So I wake up, woke up 3.30 in the morning. Then I had to wait five hours and 10.15 that day the defense started. The dissertation was arranged in this way. First, the opponent had a 10 minutes presentation as an introduction to the field. Send me out. No. This is important because uh, all these things are dependent on condition, thermodynamic conditions such as pressure and temperature to vary these conditions. Uh, you are going to see different things happening to these materials and one of the things is called spinodal uh, decomposition that if you start with a multi-component alloy under certain conditions uh, this multi-component alloy can uh, decompose into... Thereafter I presented my thesis around 30 minutes. So the decomposition pathway for this nitride is the cubic titanium aluminum nitride decomposes through spinal decomposition into cubic titanium nitride and cubic aluminum nitride, these being coherent. Of the that part came the defense. It was a kind of discussion between me and the opponent. It took around one and a half hour. And this is the part that I was most worried about before the dissertation. What are the similarities and dissimilarities between these two actually? Uh, I understand that the atomic positions have been reversed and things like that. But apart from that, like bonding scenario, uh, maybe something else, uh, electronic properties. Uh, or, or do you think except these properties, or do you want to ask a question about that? I, I, I want to. Uh, I want to know whether what are the similarities and dissimilarities, differences between a, a max, the, the usual max structure and your inverse yeah. max structure. I would say. Uh, <laughs> First, I would say our both bonds are layer mm -hmm. structures. Mm -hmm. For max space, we have some A layers, and then we have some NX. And uh, here in, in this, we have a strong covalent bonding. But for this structure, it's more. Uh, we have uh, a course. These are the layers. So we have layers of tetrahedra and we have layers of uh, what are called tetrahedra and octahedra. Yeah, octahedra, yeah. So these are actually in this structure it is this octahedra and crisp that are repeating while here it's more MX and I see, okay, yeah. interesting. But then also, uh, I don't know so much about the bonding between the layers, so maybe there's also something that I think it would be different, but that I haven't studied that much. But, uh, but there is something I think would be different the bonding between the layers. Uh, I got uh, some hard questions, but I could give answer to most of these. After that session, the examining committee asked questions about around 30 minutes and after this asking the audience could ask questions and thereafter there were 30 minutes when the supervisors the examining committee and the opponent left and they discussed for 30 minutes and these were quite nervous minutes and you can see here when they came back and the result if i was if i passed or not was announced 
So, uh, the committee has met, discussed open details with the supervisors about the past years and the work. And uh, I'm very happy to announce you that we have passed. So, congratulations, Dr. Now, So here is the document proving that I passed my PhD defense and it also proves my thesis. So now I'm quite happy I made it and you've been following me, following me the 15 weeks. I want to thank you for that. What happens now is that I soon can apply for my degree. In May next year there will be a graduation ceremony but it's not mandatory to attend it so we will see about that. I also want to thank my sister for have been filming my dissertation. In the evening after my dissertation we had a party but that's another story but here you can see my friends entering the party place a basement and at the party there were friends relatives and family this was basically all of my PhD vlogs and again I want to thank you for having been following me I want to wish you a good summer and if this vlog has encouraged you to do a PhD I wish you good luck with that so I wish you the best bye bye